<clears throat> so today I'm going to show you how to remove a doorknob without any visible screws. So you see this is a fairly old uh, doorknob. I've been actually placing a few locks today already, but this is the first one I encountered uh, without uh, any screws. Usually there's two on the inside and you just pull it out. This is an old Tamor lock and all you have to do is I guess you can see I already pressed it in a little bit. You press in this black circular tab so that it's uh, recessed and then you're able to pull and release. So that's the little tab you press and you pull and release and off it goes. And then you just remove the rest of the lock. So to remove the rest of the lock, just give the cover a quick knock, get the old paint off, and you've exposed the screws, and we can just slowly take out the screws holding the other side. Probably gonna need a body mount or head mount for my phone if I'm gonna do more of these videos. Slot me down a bit, of course. So I'm gonna follow this video up with how to drill some holes using. A guide tool because there's because there's already a hole in this. It's hard to cut a larger hole without a pilot screw in the pilot bit in the middle because there's nothing to onto. So your circular drill would be f floating, and you can make a big mess. This hole looks like it's the right size, but we'll see. So it looks like I got lucky here. It's the exact same size as the lock I'm going to be replacing it with. But you can see this is a guide that I had used upstairs because the previous hole was not large enough. And if you're using this type of drill circular drill bit there's a pilot in the middle so without a pilot you need a guide to keep it steady as you're drilling the hole and the pilot also aligns on the side that's about an inch or a seven eighths hole through there and you're good to go thanks for watching